next lecture we'll just start making our angry bird game so bird game so just create a new project first and just give it the title as an angry bird and just create it and what we'll do next is just open this current window and just click ok and let it load so after it completed its loading its set of files then we have now angry bird here so firstly what we're gonna make sure is go to this file and in this setting you want to go in this uh, basically in your interpreter that is here in this project and the angry bird and inside this go just go to this project interpreter and go in your this python.exe interpreter and after that what you're gonna do is just check if we have something that is a pymonk here or not so this is the important module that will be working on so just uh, use this this is a pymonk module if you don't have it those just go to this add button and just search for here pymonk in this search panel just search for the pymonk here and you can get this pymonk and just install that package and you are good to go so after selecting this just click apply here and ok so we have now a pymonk so pymonk is basically working with the physics so it will provide a bunch of functions and that will be really easy to work with the physics because angry bird is a game which is basically related to the physics that will be related to the bounds elasticity motion force and so on so firstly what we'll do is just in this angry word go to this angry word and just create a new python file and let it name is main and just click ok here so this is our main function our main module so in this main we'll just import some of the module first that will be os to open the file and similarly import sois so this is basically not needed but uh, just for the safety purpose so let us just import this system and after that just import math math is essential and after that we'll just import pygame pygame module and now it's time to import time that is for the clock and uh, clock ticks and similarly we'll just import pymonk now that will be pymonk and make sure you have here pymonk and you will import as pm so now you can reference pymonk as pm so after that we're gonna just initialize this pygame first that is through this init function and after that we'll just create a screen now it's, that is for the display so we'll say that is a pygame dot display and just give this display dot we have set uh, mode here so this will set mode and just pass the resolution here as a tuple here should be tuple so this tuple will be let me say 1200 comma 650 because this is the standard resolution or screen for our pi game for our angry bird so this will you can always change this number and basically you can also work with uh, 800 maybe 800 can be the height here so let me just stick to 650 now so after this creating this screen for our game what you're gonna do is just will first import all of our assets so just check resources folder and you can have this resources folder in the resource section and just copy it now and just go to your pycharm again and just paste it here just control v and you should get resources stored in this angry bird directory so just click ok and if you go here there should be the two folder that is one is for sound and another is for images so just go to images and you could see that we have a bunch of image here so there are a bunch of images so first will be just search for the here a red bird so it should be here red bird 3 so just see here what is this so this is basically our main player and after that you can also see for the background you can check this background is our main background to work with and similarly what if you see the ceiling that is basically for the projection projection of our angry bird or you can hit from this ceiling so after that what you're gonna do is we'll see full sprite now so full sprite is containing bunch of these birds and that can be here we have pig here and a bunch of a bird and our angry bird here 
so enough of that sprite introduction so what we do next is just load this sprite into our pygame so you know how to do that so first let me just create a variable that will just uh, take this red bar so just call this pygame dot image and just load that image so in this load you have to put our full directory path so give this dot to reference the directory and we have something that is a resource folder so it should be under this resources and after resources we'll just go to images because we have sound and image here so there's a sound and image so reference for this image and after this image what we need to load is a red bird 3 so this is basically our main character angry bird so just give a complete path that is extension should be also provided that is dot png so after that what you're going to do is also will convert uh, this to alpha that is calling this conversion function that will just remove our background so after this convert alpha what you're going to do is we'll just load another that is the background now so background will also be loaded like similar as that of red word so it should be load and just pass these images up to here in this load and just change the images in let me say background 3.png so this is our main background so after that what you're going to do always the convert alpha just for safety if you have the background associated with your image so after that we'll just add a sling image so sling image was uh, just to hit this angry bird you can see what that image was so this was the here it was a sling.png and it should be sling 3 dot so this is basically our sling image so let's load it now it should be similar to this let me just copy up to up to let me just copy all of it and let me now change this background 3 to sling image and that will be sling 3 dot png and we'll also convert this uh, from this convert alpha method after this the time is to load the full sprite and that is containing all of our images all of our combination of our character so let me show you what this full sprite looks like so this is our villain basically pig is our villain and we have angry words here collection of angry word so this is our full sprite so let's load that now to load similar is that of here you can also just copy it all of it and just give dot and paste it here so what you're gonna do is instead of this selling 3 png it should be uh, fully sprite obviously it is full and let me just give underscore that is a hyphen here and after the hyphen it is full sprite dot png so make sure this full sprite is same name as this full sprite so naming convention should be exactly the same you shouldn't have to do something like here if i just put here f capitals then it won't work basically so give the name that is in this resource folder so we have loaded a bunch of sprite in our pygame so we have created this uh, main.py in this lecture and we created this for basically our main important character that will be important in our pygame so this was for now see you in the next